Hello and welcome to the WHS Journal Public Affairs Program. I'm Jerry Williams. Well, Hartford's Got Talent 2023 went off without a hitch. Two dancers from the Ukraine won in the professional category, and I caught up with them at their studio in Glastonbury. But first, we hear from co-founder Joe Young, and I asked Joe about his thoughts on this year's running of Hartford's Got Talent, and he said, I'm excited. Uh, Every year, Jerry gets better and better and better. Every year, we live out our mission even more, which is to showcase talent and connect the community and we had a packed house and more importantly than showcasing talent we connect the community i mean we're in bloomfield but harford was represented we have folks from glastonbury and not even just the harford community we have people from maryland outside the the state that was there so i'm i'm on cloud nine brother jerry can we expect a third year oh yeah we're gonna in more in more and more you know as long as there's a need as long as there is people who want to give creative expression as long as we have negative behavior and we need platforms of positivity Hartford's got talent is going to keep going and going I noticed uh, the semifinals was at the uh, learning corridor last year this year different location Bloomfield High School your thoughts on that there's a connection between a lot of the executive team and Bloomfield, uh, we have Rabina McKinley, who l- lives in Bloomfield. All my brothers and sisters live in Bloomfield. It's about Harford, but it's about connecting community. And, you know, Bloomfield High School, shout out to Superintendent uh, James Thompson, uh, who was on board with us coming there, as well as Jesse White, the principal. It was a big win for Bloomfield and Bloomfield High School because they won the football state title the same day. So Bloomfield was the center of the universe on December 9th. Well, thank you for all that you do, man. I think it's a great thing what you got going on. I'm excited. So uh, I assume the the finals are going to be at the Bushnell again? In May. uh, Follow the, the website. I just think the talent, last year talent was phenomenal. This year was even, to me, more phenomenal. And somehow we're going to put a different little spin on it, man. And um, I'm just excited. It's great for Hartford, man. It's great for Har- for artists. Well, I'm not going to hold you. I literally stopped him from his work, folks. And uh, God bless you. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Jerry. And you keep up the good work. We're going to be looking for you, too, brother. You, you standing up, no pun intended, brother. Because Hartford's got talent. <laughs> Thank you, brother. All right, all right. Here I am, out and about, out and about with Jerry Williams, and I am in Glastonbury at Fred Astaire Dance Studio, and I caught up with Hartford's Got Talent's professional winners, Vasil and Christina, big winners for the second annual Hartford's Got Talent, and they're from the Ukraine, and they did an incredible dance routine. Talk about your experience. How do you feel, Vasil? Uh, I feel good. I'm very glad that we participate in this uh, event. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, I had the same feeling. No, I was shaking a little bit before they come in on the stage. But then while they're competing, uh, while the performance, that was nice to me because it's so many of our students came to support us. So we appreciate that. Talk about the type of dance that you and Christina performed? Uh, we did mambo. Uh, mambo is a rhythm dance. It's one uh, from the five rhythm dance. We have cha-cha, rumba, bolero, swing, and mambo. And how long, Christina, have you and Vasil been dancing together? We've been dancing more than 10 years, but we just transit to American style, so that's kind of new for us, because whole our life we did international style, so we just probably... How long time are we doing American style? Maybe a couple of months just? Yeah. So that's kind of new for us and exciting. But we're dancing a long time together as a couple. So you're from the Ukraine. How long have you been in the United States now? Around one and a half year. And what brought you to the United States? So we planned to move, you know, to USA even before war starts. So the war it wasn't the reason why we moved. Uh, because we would like to continue our dance career here. Um, that's a lot of opportunity for us here. That's why That was the reason why we moved to USA. How far did you live away from all this bombing and stuff? Actually, uh, we lived in the capital of Ukraine, in Kiev, and then uh, we moved to the, my parents, in a, they live in the west of Ukraine, 
it's more quiet. Were you close enough to hear any bombings while you were there? Yeah, when it just started, we for sure can hear it. And first 10 days, we stayed in Kiev because we can't get out from Kiev because it was traffic and you don't understand what's going on. So, yeah. So you had planned on moving to the United States even before the war? Yeah, we were planning, before we actually we lived in China three years, and uh, in China we started thinking about uh, how we can move to the USA. So how did you end up at the Fred Astaire dance studio? How did you find out about that here in Glastonbury? This just happened by accident. Um, I guess it's was to find out about Fred Astaire because we don't have this franchise in Ukraine, but it's so popular in, in Europe and USA, of course. I don't know how it happened. Maybe you're gonna answer better than me. Cause yeah, I found in in the Facebook and uh, I sent a message to the our owner and asked about the uh, job. And they said, yeah, let's yeah. try. Yeah. And how long have you been dancing, uh, Vazil, and what inspired you? I danced in around 25 years. When I was six, my mom just take me in the dance class. And, <laughs> and how long have you been dancing and what inspired you? And I started dancing at six years old, now I'm 28, so more than 20 years, for sure. Yeah. What inspired me, uh, you know, all my entire life, I knew that I want to be a dance teacher. I just love it, you know, and I want more, I want to increase my skills, I want more achievement for myself, that inspired me. So you two are dance instructors here at Fred Astaire? Yes. And what styles do you teach? Uh, we teach uh, American smooth, American rhythm, international Latin, and all social dance. You guys make a great team, and it was a pleasure watching you out there. There were three different categories. There was the professional, the intermediate, and the emerging. They won in the uh, professional category. There was first, second, and third, and they got first place. And uh, congratulations once again. God bless you, and keep up the good work. You guys dance well together. It was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate that. All right, now I'm with the uh, Fred Astaire studio owner, Katia Labienko. How are you? Uh, good, thank you. Talk about um, your studio. Uh, what, how long have you been owner? What it all has to offer? Uh, so studio been open more than, for more than 15 years. And uh, we offer um, dance lessons for adults as well as kids. So we have... Uh, 12 years old, we have 80, 80 years old people, and I think it's a great activity to stay active, to enrich people's life. Um, very popular, I think we have um, many, many students uh, dancing right now. Um, and again, it's not just dancing, I think um, it's way more than that, like a big social life, uh, confidence, uh, it's a great distress for people. And uh, originally I came from Moldova, Republic of Moldova. I started as a teacher, into a manager and the owner. So I understand very good how Vasya and Christina, uh, how they're feeling when they came to US. And um, Christina came on a working visa, visa, and Vasya came on Uniting for Ukraine program. And we are very happy that guys uh, were able to make it to United States. And I think they're doing great for their first, almost second year, I could say. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I take it you're a dancer yourself? Yes, I am. I'm dancing. How long have you been dancing? What inspired you? Um, I started dancing when I was, was 12, back home. And uh, my mom actually dragged me to dancing. I didn't want to do it. But after the first lesson, I fell in love with ballroom dancing. Uh, it's so much such an interesting kind of sports. You know, it's not like a dream when you go then just uh, you and machines by yourself, but you have life people in, like in front of you who are inspiring you, helping you uh, to get better. So I think it changed my life. Yeah. Yes. Well, you have a wonderful studio here, and what are the days in, uh, of operation, days and hours? So we open Monday through Friday, uh, 1 a.m. until 9 a.m., and also every Friday evening we have a social dance parties. Wait a minute, you said 1 a.m. to 9 a.m.? 1 a.m. In the, in the morning, uh, overnight? No, my bad, no. <laughs> Actually, we should consider that. <laughs> 1 p.m. until 9 p.m., yeah. Okay. yeah. 
1 p.m. to 9 p.m. Yeah. So, and the, you, all ages, right? Yes, absolutely. Mostly it's adults. Yeah. Um, and it could be single people or people come, come in couples, uh, whoever comes by himself. We pair them with a professional instructor. Um, so, and who says we have uh, two left feet? We say we have two right feet. So, so it's not a problem yet. She's Katia Lobienko, owner, operator of Fred Astaire Dance Studio in Glastonbury, Connecticut. God bless you. Thank you for sharing. You have a wonderful studio and wonderful staff and people who are here to learn, too. Everybody's been so friendly and nice to me. Thank you for uh, allowing me to come here and have a moment with you. Thank you so much. We appreciate it very much. Thank you. If you would like more information about what you heard today, call WHS 860-346-1049, 860 346 The WHS Journal, it's news and public affairs.